Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper here with Amber Howell. And it is Tell All Tuesday. We haven't done this in a while. We haven't done this in it a while. Might be a little rusty. Uh, it's been like seven weeks yeah. since we did it. Way too long. And we should have a lot know, to talk thing about. to talk about. I know I just happened to have surgery while, yes. we, while we were gone. Tri a very successful triple surgery. Triple bypass. Very successful. Surgery. Yeah. And, you know, I can't say this enough. Number one, and you have to have faith. Yes. You know, you really, really do. And you have to have a wonderful family, which, which I you have. have. And you've got to have friends. Which you have. Which we have. And then the YouTube community and, and all of the online community were just unbelievably nice. Yeah. Very supportive. I mean, they just wrote. Thousands you know, of comments. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Because I wanted to try to go in and put a heart by everything. And you just couldn't. It was like, I'm still working on it. You got tired. Yeah. Yeah. But just the comments that were made, uh, you know, the prayers that were offered, the goodwill, uh, all positive. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it especially meant a lot to me. They'd say, don't you worry about anything. We'll still be here when you come back. Yep. And they were. And they are. Yeah. So thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is so exciting that we get to be back and doing this, which we love so much. And it we brings do. so much creativity to my life. I never in a million years thought that I would be doing this as a side quest, if you will. This is so fun. And um, to, to it like a duck to water. <laughs> well, I would have never done it without you, Jackie. And I'm very How many years for that. now have we been doing it? I was thinking about this earlier today. In January, it will be four years. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, because I just got. I know you just celebrated your wedding anniversary. I couldn't believe that went by as fast as it yeah. did. Does anybody have any recommendations or tips and tricks on how to slow time? Because I am getting really overwhelmed with how fast time is moving recently. I'm seriously. It's like we have been sitting here doing these things together, and it's like she's 22, 23, 24. I mean, it's just like yeah, it the just odometer is moving. It's moving. How do we slow it down? We've got to figure that out. We've got to figure that out. But while I was having surgery, <laughs> you went to New York. I did. A couple weeks after, to be fair. Yes, I don't want to be technical. Yes. But I went to New York. No, I was, she didn't just say, oh, he's in the hospital. So I think I'm going to get out of here. Uh, no. Uh, Cody and I went to celebrate our one-year anniversary, which, like, we just said time just flies. Um, we went for one week. We went from Sunday to a Friday, and it was a lot of fun. But in as I get older, um, I get a little bit more tired. Tell me about easier. it. <laughs> <laughs> we did a lot of walking, um, which honestly is probably just indicative of how much I need to work out. But in out. New York, you walk. You walk. You walk everywhere. And if you're there as a tourist and to explore, you're doing a lot and a lot and a lot of walking. But you did something I'd never heard of. Mm -hmm. And you called it the Friends Experience? The Friends Experience. So they have a place where you can go and see uh, memorabilia from the Friends show. And you get to explore Monica's apartment, Joey and Chandler's apartment, some... Um, coffee Perk or whatever. Central Perk. Central Perk. You got coffee from there. Um, there was were, it good? It was pretty good. Okay. I mean, like... I give it probably like a six. Oh, you know, like a six. A a six. Ten. Not ten. Uh, no, not ten. Um, but it was so fun. It was um very different. It was a different experience. I've never experienced. But I can like you know, that. because you posted pictures on Facebook. I did, and it was like you're on set. Yeah, it's li it's like you're on set. It's like you're in Monica's apartment mm -hmm. and Joey and Chandler's apartment. It's so cool. If you're ever in New York and you like the show Friends. Highly recommend now, doing it. I'm not going to ask you what it costs, but is it expensive? Yeah. Okay. Like, well, I mean, I think it was like $70, which is That's like less outrageous. than a Taylor Swift concert. It is less than a Taylor Swift concert. I paid a lot of money for those tickets, which we won't talk about that, I guess, which was also a year ago, by the way. Um, wow. Um, so much has, I just can't believe it. Now, have you been listening to her new album? Yes, have you? Do, no. Oh, I've been busy recovering. You've been busy. True. You've been busy. 
But is it good? That, I like the, it. What is it? The, the Tortured Poets poetry. Department. Yeah. I like it. There are some songs, like when an album comes out, I really have to listen to it over time because a lot of the songs will start to sound the same to mm -hmm. me. So I have to spread out over a long period of time to get some differentiation in the songs. You know what I mean? But I like but it now, so far. When do you listen to music? When you're driving? When I'm driving. Um, that's typically when I do it in the car. I don't like just sit on the couch and like listen yeah, to music. I didn't know? think you did. Yeah. But so, yeah. you also went to a ball game. In New York. Yep. I went to a Mets versus Dodgers game. We was also it a went, night game? Or? It was like a mid, like an afternoon, mm -hmm. early evening game. It was it was really fun. We left before the action really started because after we left, it was tied when we left. We left because we didn't want to get caught in the big crowd leaving the game. We left when it was uh, tied. And after we left, um, the number one baseball player in the MLB, Shohei O. Tani, who plays for the Dodgers. Oh, the, the 5 million, 50 trillion, or whatever man. I, He's from, yeah, he got paid a Japan. huge salary. Yeah. He plays for the Dodgers, and after we left, he hit a home run. And then the pitcher for the Mets threw his glove into the stands because they started losing, and then talked. You could have had that catcher's, catcher's mitt. What was I thinking? And then after that, he talked bad about the Mets, and he got kicked off the team that night. Got kicked off the team completely? Oh, completely. Like, gone that Ooh. night. So, exciting. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. All right, one more thing before we go. Several months ago, pre-surgery, you and I were somehow discussing the Hunger Games prequel. Yes. Hummingbirds and something. Songbirds and snakes. The ballad of songbirds and snakes. And you were talking about the ending of that movie where the character played by Rachel, Rachel I can't remember. Ziegler. Ziegler. Ziegler, yeah. She just kind of wanders off. Yeah. And you said, they cannot leave it like that. They cannot. It made me so mad. She did. She, I'm serious. She was saying, they can't leave it like that. No. Well, they announced today. There's a new one. There's going to be another prequel. Coming out. She forecasted. I did. I predicted that it was going to happen. It needed to happen. That There was no closure There to was no story. closure. There was no closure. Yeah. So, I'm happy about that. And Suzanne Collins is going to write another Hunger Games book. book. Now, I guess it will be after the whole I don't know. I need, to, I need to do my research. I need to do my research on it. But, yeah. When you said there was no closure... I don't know why this brought this to mind. But I'm a big country music fan. Yeah. You know that. And I can't think who it's with, but that girl who sang, I'm wearing Tennessee orange. Megan Maroney. Megan Maroney. Mm -hmm. Who I've gone crazy over. <laughs> I'm serious. But she and a guy from another singing, a singing group have a song called Can't Break Up Now. Yeah. It is the best song. You know, I listened to that recently, and I can't remember. What's the band that she does that with? I don't know. Is it Old Dominion? Old Dominion. Yeah. You are so right. Yeah, had to think about it. You, way to go. Thank you. But that song, it's like Good. it stays in my head. Mm -hmm. And one of the lines that she sings, it says, I'll never get over, I'll never get closure. Uh -huh. And it fits right into the song, and I'm thinking... That's one of the best lyrics uh -huh. ever. Yeah. I need to, when I leave here, I'll, I'll give it a listen in the car. Yeah, but you, you have listened, heard it. I've heard it once. Oh, that's all. Uh, yeah. I need to you need listen to it again. Listen again. I'll do because that. Listen to the lyrics. The lyrics yeah. are so good. I'll do that. And she has made herself a little name. She has. She has. Unbelievable. I know it. She just popped up there. She's got on the top 20. I think that one's. Uh, in the top ten, and also she has a solo song called "I'm Not." I'm, I'm not, not pretty. pretty. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yep, she's a, she's, she's a good solo singer. I like her. She's got a good picker for she lyrics does. and all. She does. So yeah. anyway, that just kind of popped into my mind. Yeah. But we are so glad that we are back again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your expressions of goodwill toward me. I, it meant more to me than you can possibly imagine. But for today, this has been Jackie Cooper along with Amber Howell. And this has been Tell All Tuesday.